So a package has arrived in the mail today. Let's see what's inside. After a long time of breaking the seal open. Here it is. An Intel Core i5 10400T for my main computer. It's around this big giant piece of plastic. Here's the processor itself. Here's the back of it. Yeah, processor is all good. Now let's put it in the computer. All right, after taking off the fan and the cooling, including the stand, the bezel, and screen, now it's time to remove the old processor and put in the new one. Now let's get, get this pesky cell run out of here and put in our i5. Hopefully nothing breaks in the recording of this video. There it's there it's sat down. Now time to latch it close. There. Now time to put the cooler and thermal paste and other stuff. Alright, so after a long time of putting back the cooler and fan, let's turn it on to see if it would post. Oh, I forgot it's not connected to the wall. Alright, with that awkward attempt, let's try again for real this time. And if you're wondering how am I using this computer, I'm connecting it up through an HDMI cable through this TV. Oh, it showed up on the TV. And it's showing me in a different text font. Now I'm gonna log on. Here it is in the about part and I'm about to show in task manager. Now we have six cores instead of just just only two. So it's like a three time upgrade. Anyways, now time to install the drivers and put back the computer. All right, now the computer is back up. Now let's boot it up for the second time with the new CPU, or the third time. Hello. Alright, that is going to conclude my CPU upgrade from the Intel Celeron to an Intel Core i5. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. This is the Kanika Her 27 signing out.